Hey guys, Jeff Dickinson here. I was asked why I've been doing my pie lately. It's been over a year since I made a video last, and this is my newest addition, the X Arcade Tank Stick. Um, it's made by some folks uh, here in the U.S. It took me about four weeks to get because it was on back order. It does come with a trackball, and it's got a great joystick and buttons to player. Um, what I normally do here is if I'm not playing my arcade games, sorry, had to grab this, I use my PS3 USB uh, controller. Uh, that's for my console games. Uh, but when I'm playing arcade style games, this is the bad boy. Now, not only can I play uh, trackball games with this, but shooter games work with this and driving games work with a trackball. So it actually is well worth the money. I paid about $200 and fifty dollars for it i'll put a link below uh the usb controller I paid under 20 i think it was like 15 maybe 17 dollars got it from walmart but let's go ahead and power up my pie and show you my current image stand by all right so booting it up hi you can see my reflection please forgive all that I'm going to show you my startup screen. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like that Marvel feel to it. Shows you, you know, some of the uh, arcade characters. Now it's going to take a moment here to load the emulation station screen. What I'm going to do here is uh, show you the image itself. It's a Wolf and O's 128 gigabyte image. Um, oh, for the tank stick, what I'll do here is I'll put a link below if you want to get one. I uh, can't remember if I mentioned that or not, but you can check it out below. Now. It's, I went ahead and kept the uh, feel of my original Pi uh, image. I was creating my own Pi stuff, and when I found Wolf and O's, his he, he did a wonderful job. So let's dive in here. So as you can see my setup here, on the right-hand side, you got my list of games, uh, the consoles, and the arcades. From my arcade on the bottom right-hand side, you'll see at 2,200 games. On the bottom left hand side there um, talks a little bit about you know the golden age of uh, video games in the 80s and stuff then we got the 2600 that's kind of cool um, he's got 579 I was trying to adjust the camera here a little bit so you can read we got the Atari 5200 at 72 games we got the Atari uh, seventy-eight hundred. Sorry, Atari fifty-two hundred. Atari seventy-eight hundred at sixty-six games. Had a brain fart. <laughs> Eighty-two games for Linux. ColecoVision one hundred and seventeen games. Now that's my very first console I ever got as a kid. Love that because it was really close to the arcade graphics. Daphne, there's four games here. Of course, it's going to be your Laserdisc games. We'll dive into that. We got Game Gear at 282. Game Boy at 563. Game Boy Advance at 92. Game Boy Color at 535. We got the Intellivision at 174. We got the Sega Master System at 336. Sega Mega Drive at 702 games. The Mega Drive itself at 423. Now, I'm not sure what the difference is between these three systems, but I've never played Sega growing up, but they're fun to play right now. Nintendo 64, I got 38 games. Now, here's the deal with Nintendo 64. I got a Raspberry Pi 3B+, and the audio runs choppy. This is the only system it has issues. Um... My friend had Pi 4 he got, downloaded this image, and the Nintendo works just fine. So, unfortunately, the N64 is playable, but the audio is crappy. 
Neo Geo system, we got 136. Nintendo Entertainment System at 813. And this was my second console. We got PC Engine, a CD-ROM at three games. We got the PC Engine at 149. Then we got the PlayStation at 64. PlayStation was my fourth console outside of the Nintendo and then the Super Nintendo, and then followed up with the PlayStation. Now, all these PlayStation games run just fine on the Raspberry Pi 3B+. So, like I said, the only thing you had problems with is the uh, going to be a uh, N64. Here's where you can configure all of your you know files and stuff. We got the Sega 32X at 33 games, Sega CD at 37. Super Famicom at 136, SG-100 Computer Video Game, this is by Sega, uh, 68, Super Nintendo, 781, and boy, I love those games, there's tons in there, you could get lost sometimes with time, <laughs> Super uh, Graphics at 5 games, uh, Turbo Graphics 6 at 94 games, and those were both P PC Engine games. Veltrex, Vextrex, excuse me, at 23 games. I apologize if I mispronounced that. Um, now, I did not get a chance to play one as a kid, but I did go to the video game museum here in Frisco, Texas, and they have one for you to play with. It's really cool. Uh, Philips Video Pack, 131 games. This is for the Odyssey type gaming system here. Never played that as a kid either. All right, now here's where they bundle the games together. You got the Atari Classics, Capcom Classics, your Castlevania games, Capcom 1, Capcom 2, Capcom 3, Daddy East Classics, iRealm Classics, Konami Classics. Here's your Mario games grouped together. We got Mega Man games grouped together for your Mega Man fans. We got the Midway Classics, Mortal Kombat, all your Mortal Kombat in one area here. Wolf knows it really cool about grouping some of these. Uh, Namco Classics, Nintendo Classics, you got your Pac-Man right here, Sega Classics, you got your Shooter Games, you got SNK Classics, you got your Sonic the Hedgehogs group together here, Street Fighter group together, Tato or Tayo Classics, please forgive me if I mispronounce it, I can never pronounce it correctly, Williams Classics, you got all of your wrestling for your wrestling fans out there grouped together, you got your Zelda games grouped together, and here's where you get customize and group together your own little collection. I have just five there right now. I'm just playing with it. All in all, total of all games from all consoles and arcade, 8,738. Man, what an image. It's 128 gigabyte, but man, it is great. Uh, this is the image I prefer to play the most with my Pi. I got some favorites grouped together. And they got last played, so these were the games I played last at 506. Then we're back with the arcades. Now let's dive in. What Wolfnos did for you here is you got a list of games, got a little splash screen, a little showing you a little bit about the game. On the top right, talks about the date you got released, and a little this little section here what the uh, you know top of the game would look like. And on the bottom, we'll talk a little bit about it. Now, there's 200, 2,200 of these games here, so I'm not going to go through all of them. But you can pause it and read the games if you're curious about all the games on this image under Arcade. We're going to be covering Arcade only on this video. Uh, we'll dive into future videos for the individual systems themselves. So let's check out some games here. We'll play a little bit. We're not going to play all the games um fully through we can just give you a little sample of how it plays the splash screens do all have audio except for a few of them um there is going to be a few that game i think about two or three actual games that i played has splash screen audio but playing the game itself for some reason uh there's no audio uh, i have still have to work on those image you know files but you know, for the most part, Wolf and Oz did very good. So let's hop into Batman here. Sorry about the glare there. It's going to take a moment to upload. I'm Batman. 
Now what's cool what Wolf Nose did here is he adds splash art to the side and is showing the game in its aspect ratio that's intended for. So let's go ahead and throw this coin in there. Start the game. Now I'm not super good at this. So you remember playing this in the arcade? I remember playing it a few times. As you can see, I'm not super good at it. You gotta get that fat symbol, there you go. And just like you remembered. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Like I said, I'm not gonna play the whole game itself. I'm just gonna give you a little sample of how it looks and plays. Um, like I said, Wolf Nose did an excellent job. There is very few bugs. Um, I know that, you know, when I first started putting together my first image about a year and a half ago, it's time consuming and you had to get the ROMs working with all the other stuff. And it, it's just, you know, I, I'm just appreciative that Wolf Nose did take the time out to do an excellent job to give us gamers a really cool image. All right, let's go down some more here. Buck Rogers playing Zoom. I remember playing this in arcades. Alright. Burger Time. Let's dive in. It's one of my favorite games. All the Splash Kings has Wolf and those little face in there and stuff. It's kind of cool. Alright. So you see there I got the bomb score. Not as good as I like to be. I like to be a lot better at these games. But that's why you play them. Have fun. Oh. Gotta be pretty quick to get that low. Ah, oh, we just wasted it. Well, there you go. That's why I, my score is very much on the bottom. I make drastic moves. <laughs> All right, let's scroll down some more. Like I said, the trackball does work for the shooters. It does work for the um, driving games as well as your trackball games. Let's see here. Let's try to find something cool here to show you guys. I'm going to be looking for some of the games I enjoy the most. There's tons on here that I'd like to show you, but I want to make this a long ass video. Crazy Kong. Now, I never knew this existed. It says it's a clone, Japanese clone of Donkey Kong. Went on the internet and Googled it, and I found out some guy actually got one. Not sure if it was just made up by that individual or not, but he was showing off that he owned one. Never heard of Crazy Kong before until this image. That's why I got curious to start Googling. Ah, Defender. Let's hop in. <coughs> Excuse me. And once again, these modern TVs have all the screen space, and yet Wolf Nose did an excellent job at uh, giving us the sides, the way it looks and stuff. So let's go ahead and put a quarter in there. I 
love playing this as a kid. Not 100% good at it, but had fun. Alright, well let's get out of here. Like I said, not trying to play a game, show you a little bit about how it looks with this image. Alright. They got Dig Dug and Dig Dug 2. The game is pretty cool. All those times I put a quarter in there, play all these games, now no quarters needed. If I was to tell my... Here's Donkey Kong, let's hop into Donkey Kong. If I was to tell my little childhood self, in the future you're going to all these video games, you're dumping all these quarters in, I'll think I was crazy. Now, as you can see, I got my dishes on two of those. If you look at my original two videos, when I first got my uh, pie going, I had a lot of audio issues. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Ah, uh, all right. All right, well, going to get out of here. All right, you got Donkey Kong 3, which I never knew was an arcade game, but it's there. Donkey Kong Jr., I do remember playing as a kid. Let's move on. Like I said, you could pause and read the games if you wish. Tons of games. 2,200 arcade games to go through. And they have uh, you know, American and Japanese versions. Unfortunately in here there's a few clones. Um, you could go in there and delete the ones you don't want from the image. I just kept it the way it is. Let's see here. Frenzy. Remember this game. There you go. This, this game is like uh, another game. Yeah, Frogger. Let's hop in the Frogger. And it's cool as it starts up just kind of like the old school way. I heard Arcade 1-Up did a Frogger game, but they said that the audio, the, well, the music, wasn't the same as the original, which is kind of a bummer. How true that is, I don't know, because of the fact that I don't own the Arcade 1-Up Frogger. I do have the 12-in-1, which has some cool Arc Atari uh, games on there. But, uh... Alright, let me get out of here. But it has 12, it's a 12 in 1 by Atari. Um, got when it first came out about a year and a half ago. Coming up on a two year anniversary. If you guys are into the arcade one ups, they have great company. They have some good games out there. I just had to change out some of the, uh, the trackball and the spinner because it was garbage. Alright, let's see here. See if I can find something else to play here for you guys. Yeah, they have Golden Tea on here too. I'm not a big Golden Tea fan, but I did check it out. Still not a super fan of Golden Tea. I do like golf games. I uh, played the console version of Tiger Woods. Um, 2004 from a PlayStation 2. I just got a new PGA uh, 2019 golf game. It's pretty cool for my PS4. So I still console, but I still love my old school arcades. Oh look, here's Gyrus. Who doesn't remember that game? It's one of my favorites. Once again, it's going to boot up just like the way it did back in the arcades. If I remember it. Oh, missed this one. Yeah, I screwed that one up. And now up here. Get 
Get that center thing for double firepower. Of course, to me, guys, I don't need to say that to you guys. Y'all know. Come on. As the levels go on, it gets a little harder, of course. Guys, we kill a lot of them to give me extra rounds. Alright. Well, I could go on forever with this one because it's one of my favorites and I'm pretty good at Alright, let's move down here. Wish I could go through all of them individually, but man, that would be, be a ton of videos Let's see if I can find something else to play here for you guys you know there's a journey game apparently not a big journey fan but you know what oh they got joust and joust too uh, not a big journey fan but I remember getting our tape our uh, Tari cartridge that my little I think my little sister found it or something like that somebody found it and it was alright I just didn't care for it Jungle King now they got Jungle King and Jungle Hunt Jungle King was the first one that came out and you're dressed as Tarzan then I guess people from Tarzan had upset about that so they made Jungle Hunt There's uh, this level, then you go swimming with the uh, crocodiles, and then you have to go up some boulders, you gotta jump over boulders, and then um, you get to save the chick. You gotta get some air here, because there's a thing on the top. Shows you losing air. See how it starts. See how it starts going down on top right. Okay. And that's just for folks who never seen it or played it before. Of course, a lot of the other guys were like, "Yeah, it's fun." This is another shooter that's really fun. Ate a lot of quarters back in the day. Um, of course, now I just kept on feeding it quarters and actually ended it. It's about a 15 minute runtime game. All right. Scrolling down, looking for some cool stuff. The one game I was bummed out about was Tron. Um, Cause it uses a, tr a, a spinner and um, a, you know, uh, you can use your joystick, but it needs a spinner badly, and the trackball doesn't help any. That yeah, mappy, that was a fun game. <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't mean to be sneezing and coughing on you. My allergy's been acting up. It's been raining today. All right. There's Moon Patrol. That's a fun one. Just hop, hop in here. Like I said, I was really shocked at the quality of arcade games versus a lot of the ones that I used to play as a kid. You shoot and jump. You can shoot those boulders, I believe.
Ah, uh, well, I'm getting out of here. Apparently, I'm not the best at Moonshell. Like I said, there's some games here I'm like, I've never heard of before. Might be Japanese versions. Yeah. Mr. Do here. I played that as a kid. Miss Pac Man. Who doesn't love Miss Pac Man? Now, the uh, X Stick. Uh, X Arcade Tank Stick, excuse me, uh, is an eight-way control stick. So if you use the PlayStation 3 controller with the joystick or the tank stick, it, it's the same. It, it's an eight-way. But it doesn't affect the game. I think this is a four-way. Are you screwing up? See how it's really responsive. Ah. Oh well. I'm getting out of here. I, get, I love me some Miss Pac-Man. Out of the Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man, I like them both. Now here's a combination. You've seen those um, in the arcades. Well, I saw this at the bus station when I was traveling to San Antonio. Uh, that particular ROM file has some glitches in it. Um, but individually, the Galaga and the... Uh, Miss Pac-Man works just fine individually, just that one section ROM. Um, Namco Classics, another combination game system. Um, that runs just fine. But, you know, if I'm going to play a separate game, you know, I'm going to play a separate game. Now here's your NBA Jams. A lot of people um, got the arcade one-up version. It plays just fine on my tank stick, so I didn't see a need to spend all that extra money just to have that. Now, of course, you know, a lot of people are collecting them. God knows I have no room for that. Let's see here. What other games I can show you? Oh, see, so you got Pack and Pow. Let me go this Pack, Pack and Pow. Pack Land, which I've never played before. Got Pac Man. Pac Man Plus. Pac Mania. And Pack Fever. Packy Fever. Okay, that's not a Pac Man game. But those are the Pac Man games. I showed you Miss Pac Man, so they need to go with Pac Man. Uh, Paperboy plays fine with the, you know, the tank stick. Some of these, you know, had like, you know, like a yoke for Star Wars, and um, like I think Paperboy had an actual looking um, handlebars. Here's Phoenix. That's a cool game. And once again, Wolf Nose did a great job keeping the aspect ratio. Get out of here. I could play that game forever too. I'm really good at it. You know, when you're, when you're a kid and you only have that quarter, you try to find games that you are good at and you kind of stick with it. Galaga was my best one. I mean, I put a quarter in there and rarely die. I wind up usually giving away my games um, to people. Here's Pleads. 
lot of kids, you know, my mom would say, hey, you gotta go. I go, I got a quarter in here. She goes, I don't care. So I'll give away my, you know, game to whoever's standing by. Put a quarter in there, push play. I played Please and Phoenix a lot. There were two games at a grocery store my mom would go to. It's one of those uh, mom and pop grocery stores. Get out of here once again. Like I said, not trying to play a heck of a lot of gaming here. Let's see here. You got pole position, pole position two. Oh. Now I move my my little controller left and right. You see arcade right here, and it last played, and then Atari. So you you can balance if you want. But I'm trying to keep this arcade only. Uh, you got Popeye here. Remember playing a little bit of it. A little bit of Popeye growing up. Let's see here. You got Puck Man from Japan. I think it was called originally Puck Man and then they changed it to, uh, you know, Pac Man. The way I heard the rumor, if I hear this, if I remember correctly, is that they changed the P to an F. <laughs> with black markers, so that's why I changed it to pack. Yeah, Qbert. This is a four, uh, a four-way joystick. Eight-way gives it hell trying to play it. That's the only downside for that game. All right, moving in the R's here. Sorry if this was a long video. I just wanted to give you a look at all the games. We got Ramble here. Good shooter game used to track ball for. You got Rampage. Rampage World Tour. Those are cool. Red Baron, I played that a lot as a kid. Just like the other tank game, it's a vector graphics game by Atari. Back in the day, those vector graphics were cool. Now, Return of the Jedi here. Uh, Arcade 1 Up came out with the Star Wars game, with the yoke you could play. It was like $500. Don't have $500 to play, but you know what? I can still play these games with my trackball and play is just fine. Um, yeah, Robotron. Let's hop into here real quick.